Today I want to talk about uh, a situation I've run into with uh, duct detectors um, giving me intermittent troubles uh, such as excessively dirty uh, when the smoke detector is completely clean, um, dirty, um, what are some of the other troubles, um, wrong device, uh, uh, intermittent intermittently uh, troubles such as that and uh, normally you know when you get to your service call the you know the troubles cleared it, it only seems to happen in the middle of the nighttime type of deal uh, as usual so uh, you know typically you know we get that dirty trouble you know and uh, you know we take the head out we clean the head put it back uh, we leave we get called back out the next day same trouble again. We replace the head, leave, come back. Next day after that, same trouble again. We replace the board. Finally, you know, the customer, he's very, very upset. You know, you've been out here three or four times and the same trouble occurs over and over again. I want the whole thing replaced, he says. Um, yeah. Okay, well, you know, look, bud. I can replace the board. I replace the head. Anything that's left is a bunch of plastic. You know, I mean, there's nothing else that can go wrong with this. Um, you know, I've, I've argued this point before, um, but I had to look into this a little further because I did exactly what the customer said and replaced the whole um, duct detector and all. <coughs> and it cured the problem. So I looked into this a little deeper. Okay, and what I found was that these four wires here uh, that connect onto the board, they channel through here. And what I've done was I've peeled all the, the rubber backing away from this board here. And you can see that these wires all go through a little, the little channels here. And they mount to the screws uh, that mount the base onto the back or into the uh, duct detector. These two screws here line up with those two right there. So these screws are doing two functions. They are making a wire connection and they are also holding the, uh, the base or mounting the base to the duct detector um, housing. Now what I found out is after peeling this off, I've looked at these wires and I found, look, right here. This wire right here is nice and loose. Uh, I don't know if a machine does this at the factory or they have a assembler person at the factory putting these together, but they made an error that day and didn't get this one screw all the way tight and stuck their, or glued their um, rubber onto it and away it went. And now we're dealing with this problem here. Uh, so yeah. If you take that away and tighten this up, you know, I mean, what happens is, you know, every night when his unit starts up, it vibrates a little bit and, uh, and this vibrates and it sends some funny signals back to the board here and, um, you know, it re reports back to the panel and when the vibration stops, it might settle down for a while or whatever, you know, but you can see I can almost get, uh, you know, a quarter turn on all these screws, you know, for some reason the, the people at the factory don't tighten things up real good all the time and, you know, sometimes it's always a good idea to check it. Uh, this one's a tough one to do because, you know, you have the, the, uh, the rubber that gets stuck, you know, the adhesive rubber gets stuck onto the back of it. So if you're ever in a pinch and you're, you're experiencing this type of problems, you know, more than likely you'll have to replace the duct detector because you know, unless you can carefully peel that away and tighten these screws up and then peel that back, um, that would be a solution uh, to, to this problem here. If you, but uh, my luck, you know, I've had to peel this away and it came off in little teeny pieces all over the place. So I would have to, I would have to fabricate some type of uh, felt to go over here to insulate this from the back of the ductwork. Cause you know, hey, the, the ductwork's metal and these are metal, so you're just, yeah, you know, well, you, you, you get my message out of this. So hopefully this will help you if you ever run into this problem uh, with the intermittent trouble and replacing the boards and the head and cleaning the head and nothing seems to be working. 
Yeah, you know, check these out. They might be loose and giving you some, uh, you know, some uh, intermittent troubles that you don't want to deal with. I uh, hope this helped you out, and have a good day.